Okay. Uh. Welcome. Let's see what that looks like. Welcome. I'm Lauren. Welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're doing a segment called What's in My Travel Bag, where I show you what's in my travel bag. I think it's a slightly different take on the what's in my bag, and that some of these things would be uh, what I normally carry, and some things are specifically due to traveling. Um, I'm currently on the road, and uh, I thought it'd be a really fun segment to film. Um, and I hope you like it. And for you nosy people out there, I think this should also entertain you. All right, so let's get into it. What's in my bag? So, um, a backpack. You can carry everything. A backpack with a back pocket. You can hide some things. Let's just get into it, shall we? So, basically, um, this is a hotel uh, notepad. It's um, in the Kimpton um, Hotel. All right, now it says I heart DC dash L because that's where I am right now. I'm in DC. And um, specifically because I'm currently using it to record right now, I can't um, uh, include it in my bag. So I have drawn a really terrible photo. I, I do actually have better art skills than this. But um, iPhone 14 Pro, that's what I'm recording this on. Um, and for those of you who want to start a channel, you don't need an iPhone 14 Pro. I didn't start with that. I started with an Android that was maybe three or five years old. Um, and actually some of the footage on this channel that like if you go back a few months, you'll actually see. Um, but yeah, now I do this because I wanted the storage and I wanted the features and whatnot. So. Yeah, I'll keep something like this around. Typically what I actually have now are notebooks. Um, but like I said, I didn't have that on me. So I'm always like, let me grab a, let me grab a, a hotel pad because it, it serves in the short term. And um, a really nice hotel pen. I like that they tend to be really slim. They feel really good in the hand when writing. Um, and they actually kind of help you to write like beautiful cursive and stuff so I feel like people should start sending each other like love notes and maybe not in this handwriting like I said in like beautiful cursive or whatever but start writing each other love notes from like hotel pads with hotel pens because I just think they look beautiful feel beautiful and it's like a call out to like I don't know a 70s road trip all right what's next oh Really interesting card I got today from my Uber driver um, and it's actually uh, promoting a uh, stand-up comedian um, named uh, Gwyn Factor Robertson and um, uh, it was so cute because um, the Uber driver is her boyfriend and not to blow up her spot but she just has a really interesting um, story and I just think that it's really fun to like promote women in stand-up um, because we're funny too. We have a lot of things to say and uh, you know, I honestly think comedy is genderless. It connects to um, any and everybody. So this is a hotel key card. Makes sense. I have hairpins. These are, um, uh, tweezers. For those of you who are seeing this rolled up white stuff, it's actually just to protect um, the leather of the bag. It's just in this because I don't have a plastic case. So don't go thinking it's anything else. All right, let's get to the inside of the bag as we undo this trove of wonders. First things first, scrunchie. Love this, want this, need this. So 
I mean, this is gonna be in your everyday essentials. It's a silky, satiny um, scrunchie so that it doesn't like pull or snag hairs, um, which I find can be really uh, unhealthy for your hair. So um, it's nice to get it out of your way as well, you know, get your hair out of your way. And then I like to have some hair in the front. It kind of still gives you a little bit of like zhuzh and movement. So you feel kind of frilly. Um, and let me tell you something, I still love hair in the front even when my hair is not in a um, flat ironed state. My hair is natural um, and I just flat iron it. I don't chemically treat it. There's nothing like that. I actually use really uh, vegan and natural products in my hair um, and my hair reverts when I get it wet and um, so I'll just stretch it sometimes and when I don't want to add heat and I'll still give myself the little tendrils in the front and I love the way that looks. It can be really, really beautiful. All right, moving on. Next thing in the bag, scarf. When you're traveling, a scarf can be a million things. One, it can be face mask. And I'm not really referring to, you know, the big C with this. I just mean more like when you're doing air travel or, you know, in the days where people just have normal colds. It is a great way to keep warm. It can become a little pillow, like there's so many things, or a blanket, depending on like how big it is. And this one is one that I got um, over 10 years ago with my mother. And um, it's so funny because like it goes back and forth. She'll use it sometimes, I'll use it sometimes. And so like it has this story and even if there are like runs and pulls in it, it's 100% silk, it feels baby soft, it's lovely. And um, I will ride this till it literally is threadbare. Next, I have sunglass case. Technically, what you're looking at is a Lispex case wrapped in a Derek Lamb case. Now, why I choose the Lispex case is I just love that strong magnetic closure. It's kind of made of a what feels like a heavy denim, at least this one. But um, I have a little bit of shame, and basically the part of the um, the second half, the faux leather, the vegan leather started to peel and pock and I just didn't like the way it looked so I took um, like a little Derek Lamb sleeve that would then go inside like a hard case and I just wrapped it in this. Um, and inside I have my sunglasses. So these sunglasses are faves of mine. So they're actually vintage from the 90s. Um, I believe they're from the year I was born. I got them off of Etsy. They're from a London-based um, company. So I just, I, I felt like it was kind of calling my name. They weren't wildly expensive, but I also just think the way the nose pad is designed, like these, the hard, they have some really cool hardware in here that I just really liked. It's octagonal, but I do find since it's generally a round shape, it works really well because I have uh, quite rectangular face, so rounder shapes work well, big square shapes work well, really rectangular wide shapes work well. Basically anything that either adds like a complete contrast in shape or is like really, really um, emphasizing uh, shape. I think I have a pair of like really small diamond, like John Lennon uh, sunglasses that I also really love that are also a vintage pair that I got from the same store. I cannot remember what the store is called. If I find it again, I will try to link it. But yeah, I, I love these, I wear these. I also feel a little bit like Amal Clooney when I wear them because she does love like a big round shade. So yeah, I just love these. <laughs> okay, I switched my sunglasses out. I have a drawer full of sunglasses. I'll go into clothing store accessory sale and um, I'll just pick up like a pair of uh, sunglasses. One of my favorite pairs, which I accidentally smushed, but it was metal so it survived, was this like pink pair and I love it because when I wear it like literally rose-colored glasses, like the world actually looks nicer in them. Um, so I'll have that. I have sunglasses from The Row, Oliver Peoples, Alexander McQueen. I think I just would want to get more vintage Oliver Peoples and I also would really like some of the Dior men's sunglasses from mid 2000s. All right, what's next? Wallet, that's gonna be in any purse. Um, book, I am an author. I am the author of two novels, Rafe and Rose, World on Fire, uh, which is the second novel, and Rafe and Rose, The Death Letter, which is the first novel. And you can actually find links to them um, on my banner on uh, the, subscribe or like main page on YouTube 
and you know other places as well. I'm a writer so I'm always coming up with ideas so if they're not in my cell phone in notes or email to myself they're gonna be written down but also as a writer I think it's good to read and he does he's not doing it for the glory but the author Robert Fleming who is a really great author he has kind of taken to really encouraging me and he sent me this uh, advanced reader copy of a book called love in the age of dragons a novel by fatima r henson and he's kind of always encouraging me to basically be me and to write and i think showing me examples of writers who are published in traditional format um and uh you know being multi-variate, multi-genre. This is a multi-genre book. Inside this book, I have a Swiss a bookmark. Technically, it's actually just like a badge. Technically, it's actually just like you sew it onto something like a badge um, that I got from one of my mom's friends because um, she is, I believe, half Swiss or Swiss German. I'm not sure what the exact dynamic is, but um, she'll bring like chocolates after she goes um, to Switzerland and she's very thoughtful very nice um, and so she brought this this bookmark or this badge back and I use it as a bookmark so they go together I think I think the red of it <laughs> and the book go together pretty nicely let's see what else is here water this is definitely like the hotel room water because I totally forgot to go and pick up some before I arrived, so I'll be enjoying that charge. <laughs> Sometimes have to create content on the road and you're not always where an outlet is. Um, I have to get a much shorter cord for this, but it is um, essentially portable charger outlet. I have like the last remnants of Purell. Get your hands clean, especially if you're about to eat something or whatever, so Purell a gift from my auntie it's a shopping bag and it's a shopping bag that folds up this small but when you open it i'm not gonna open it now because i'd have to figure out how to fold it back again because it's a whole geometric puzzle now, i've used this when i have impromptu uh shopping trips a fold away bag um sainsbury's so this is actually from when she was in england and staying in london with some of my family that's over there Hey! This bag is made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Hopefully that plastic bottle that I just drank out of will become one of these. Okay, let's see what else. This is normal for me. I have an extra set of earrings and typically pearl earrings. These are clip-ons and I remember at one point, and I was actually with my cousin from the UK, uh, when I thought I'd lost one, it made me so sad because um, these have some sentimental value. They belong to my mom. So like I love stuff that like belonged once to family that like now you inherit or take, you know, inherit implies things that I don't need to imply. But I just like that like basically I swipe these from my mother and I wear them like a lot actually. You also can't go wrong with pearls. So there's that. And the vice president wears pearls. Um, now I know some of you are not her fans, so please don't leave anything in the comments. This is not a political video. I'm just covering the brand. You go to these conventions and then you get random extras. And so this one was like toothpicks and breath mints. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, okay, from Bath and Body Works, it's shea butter hand cream in the rose scent. I really like this. I actually don't typically like a lot of um, scented things. I'm just really sensitive to certain um, perfumes, but this one for some reason still smells beautifully of roses. It, like it feels amazing on the hands. It's one of the few hand lotions where like after that soap is really drying, I find this is quite nourishing. I don't find this with all of the Bath and Body Works hand lotions, but this one for some reason is just great and I just, I like it. Band-Aids. This is a compact mirror and um, I got this from Forever 21 while I was in college. For some people it's gonna feel like a forever ago and for me it feels like yesterday. It's super dirty so well, it needs to be cleaned. What I don't have in here, usually I carry a pack of tissues. Next, yeah usually I'm carrying some kind of 
pen. Again, I'm a writer, I wanna put ideas down, or sometimes I'm just really bored and I need to doodle. A pen, it's great for doodling. Um, next thing is, like I said, more hair pins, but this one is um, really pretty, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of bejeweled, like floral, diamante look. Um, and I just think, again, when you have something formal, you know, like you put on the pearl earrings and even if you have just a regular bun, like let's say you just have a simple black, not good for your hair scrunchie, but you take, you know, a little bit of the hair, wrap it around the scrunchie and then just slide this, this like shiny pin, like right into the side. It immediately looks like you were going for something. So I just think carrying one of these is good. Apparently I think there's going to be a formal moment at any moment when I'm traveling. <laughs> Nail clipper, small nail clipper. And be careful with this because I mean, I know that there's certain airports where they won't allow you to even have this. These kinds, they have a little like emery board as part of it too, so a keychain. We are not afraid of periods here. They are a thing, they happen to a majority of the country. Periods happen to a majority of the world. As women do make up the majority of the world and people who have periods, regardless of gender. Um, so tampon liner whatever you know uh that's gonna be in there and i think it's just good to show them there shouldn't be stigma around periods in the end so much of it is tied to humanity and creating it but also at the same time what it does to the trajectory of typically a woman's but also again um, people who have uteruses or uteri i'm not sure how to pluralize that um, but it affects the 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 chances so many um, young people have when it comes to education to opportunity. Maybe they're at, taken out of school due to not having the right sanitary conditions and supplies, or they may suffer from severe cramps, like endometriosis, P PCOS, dysmenorrhea. Like there's so many different things, and I have also experienced excruciating periods. Um, and I, I think it's something that uh, needs to be much more clinically studied. We can have pills for Viagra, Cialis, you know, I think we should equally have things that allow for painless period and organ health. Mask, because there's still part of me that's like, I like that I didn't really catch colds while wearing masks. So it's not even so much like paranoia now, it's just like, oh, it's winter. Or like, oh, that person was just coughing a lot and I'm about to go walk through the same pathway as them. Not in a germaphobic way, although yeah, that is germaphobic, but it's more just like, there's something so blissful about not having a cold. Flash drive, I am writing, the Rafe and Rose series is a four part series. Two books so far are out, there are two more to be written and you need some memory <laughs> when you are writing and then um second to last thing that i carry and this is another one of those things that's also like a daily thing and that is my lipstick this one is just revlon i mean like i said i run the gamut i'll do like you know i don't think i've, I've had any pat mcgrath lipsticks but i've had my eye on like a whole slew of them um, I also do want um, some of the nudes from Juvia's place. Um, I wear Aaron Lauder. So those are all like really kind of cool, high-end. Um, I don't know if Denise Merix uh, does lipstick. I'll have to check, but um, I love supporting black uh, owned businesses. But I also sometimes am just, I need to run into a drugstore and or pharmacy and just get something for the moment. Again, because you never know when you're gonna have a formal occasion. And so this is Revlon. This is actually the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this color is Matte 014 Shameless. And I don't always wear matte, so I'll have a matte and then I'll go over it with a gloss. This also can hold a really nice, like, sandwich like a hero sandwich that's really well wrapped so you don't have like oil all over your bag but what i what i have done with traveling is um actually packing shoes just get like like a nice pair of flats that are soft and then you know your 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 bag uh your shoe bag 
you just slip the two flats in there, pull it taut, slide it in. If you've got somewhere formal to be, but then you wanna be really chill after, you can just swap it out. I have one last thing, and this is actually totally from my mother, and is like really cool. She got Hershey's candy bars and like left me a Ferrero Rocher. I did not eat all of these. She just left me one and then put it in my bag because she knows like chocolate will just like cheer me up. I can't eat a lot of chocolate. Like I said, um, I have caffeine intolerance, but just like every now and then it's like a little pick me up. So that is what is in my bag. You've seen it all. You know, you've learned specifically what is in my travel bag. I hope that um, it helps you in your future plans for travel and that you've got something fun out of this. So, thank you and uh, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Me To You. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, so now I gotta go put all this back. I'm <laughs> sorry.